Hello and welcome to something completely different. For the last, well, maybe year and a half, I've pretty much exclusively built uh, manual cars, nothing remote control, and mostly sort of show models with uh, intricate detailing and uh, packaging and that sort of stuff. But I decided, let's do something different. Let's make something functional. So this is probably the best off-road model that I've built in a while. It has lots of cool features, so I'll talk you through that now. So starting with the basics, we have remote control steering with this single M motor on the front axle, as well as remote control drive with these two XL motors mounted in the middle of the chassis. Power is sent from this central differential with a locker out through these ball joints onto the axles where this new style differential with its own locker powers each axle. And we've also got portal hubs attached on all four corners. There's two things I really like about this new style differential in comparison to the old one. Firstly, the gears themselves are much tougher and there's unlikely to be any slipping now um, over rough terrain or in high torque situations. And secondly, you can lock the diff directly with one of these sleeves rather than needing to make a complicated mechanism around the outside. For suspension, we've got live axles front and rear and pneumatic cylinders on all four corners, which means that it's height adjustable. Right now I've got it in the lowest position. And if I pump it, it can go really quite high. Pneumatic suspension has slightly different characteristics to spring suspension. It's much spongier and less responsive, but in the case of an off-road vehicle, it actually is really nice because It'll keep the chassis generally level while allowing for amazing wheel articulation. In fact, if I lower the pressure in the cylinders a little bit, we can see how eager it is to twist those wheels. And you'll notice it actually sags into position even more if you just let it stay there for a little while. Finally, let's take a look at how this model performs doing some obstacles. 